sliding into Dutch Harbor here. We got the Red King Crab on board for 2015. On board the Cape Caution. We're going to be right at 100,000 pounds on the boat. You know what? It is what it is. It's a great season. I got to tie the boat up. Captain Wild Bill Wachrowski heads in to offload his red crab after a fast season. Falling in the Dutch. It's up to the max. I'm trying to set a new record for the Cape Caution. Oh my god. That goes up. Do the hustle. Oh my greenhorn. What? Can't even tie up a boat. Over the last week and a half. New deck hand Gerard Seacrest. What do you got, dumbass? has not been performing well on deck. Tell us what you can and can't do. This will get us a big fine. Jared was hired by Bill's son, Zach, and he's been letting him down. Well, you shouldn't have to make somebody take a man. There's just not a lot of trust going on with Jared on the boat. None of the guys out here trust him to give on his numbers. Hey, everything's boiling down to Jared. All the problems are down to Jared now. That's a pretty simple way to do everything, isn't it? Nobody else taking any responsibility for what's happening. It's all his fault. Oh, man, I just want to retire from the I really do. Hello? Uh-huh. Really? <laughs> You're kidding me. I asked them that before the season. Two, you're serious. Who the f do you think you are? I'm good. You have warrants. The insurance company doesn't want you on the boat if you got warrants, no matter what they are. I sat right here and said, do you have warrants before the season? And you said no. And don't tell me you didn't know. No, I, I didn't know. I had you didn't know. You didn't I know. Didn't. I don't know, man. What am I supposed to do and what am I supposed to say? I've asked you man-to-man -man questions. You've given me answers and they've been wrong through the whole thing. I've gone to bat for you, just keeping you to stick around. What am I supposed to do? When I ask you, do you have warrants? Why do you say no? I've run these boats since 1989 and I've had people with 15 grandmothers die. I've heard every excuse and reason and you're kind of full of excuses and reasons. I gotta let you go. Cut and dry, man. Well, to, um, why don't you be an honest man instead of lying? Well, I don't give a to work. I can ask when I ask you a manly question and you lie to me time and time again. You lie to everybody. This job used to be about fishing, not about attorneys and babysitters. When I hired him, he was supposed to be, he told me a lot of stuff, so he was supposed to be more of an asset. You know what, you can lie all you want, but when you get out there, you he can't hide it. Yeah, really. He couldn't hide it. I hate always being the bad guy, but I got people I have to answer to. It's over and over, man. It's like, give me a break. Ronnie, how do you feel now that Jared's gone? Uh, it kind of sucks that he's gone. He's, I, I didn't really have too much problem with him. We talked a lot, but I don't know. I think he's gonna go better on deck. That's what matters. Less tension, less people all mad at each other. I mean, goes downhill quick, you know. <laughs> Bottom of that hill. Yeah, exactly. So, if someone calls and asks us about Jared. We're gonna tell him the honest truth. Bait. Bait. Just bait. Thirteen-year bait guy. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. What was the most important lesson you learned from Jared? Don't lie. <laughs> quick learner.
260 kilometers northeast on board the Wizard. We got good weather, we got pots and water on a long soak. We've got a mess to clean up. We've got a lot of work ahead of us right now, but um, the good news is we're working. Beep, 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 beep. Just 100 meters off the bow, Captain Jonathan Hillstrand and the Time Bandit pay a visit to the wizard. Got me here. Right on, right on, right on. <laughs> You're a week into this season. I got a hunch you guys are doing pretty good. Um, things are going good. Uh, there's lots of crab around, you know. You're not too late. You're going to do good. Yeah, Roger. No, we're, we're, the main's running good, so that's behind us, thank God. You know, we're behind the eight ball. We're just getting started. I don't know. I don't think people realize how much pressure's on us to get these boats out of town, and, you know, I don't know. Roger, roger. Good deal. Well, uh, I heard you went a little bit of crazy in town or something. What's the story on that? I just kind of... A lot of crap was catching up to me, and... I ended up hanging out the bar stool about the time the boat was supposed to leave. My brother had to come rescue me and drag my ass out of the bar. Which he's never had to do that, so... I feel a little sheepish about that, but, you know... It's just been too much time. Yeah, it's just too much time with a bottle. Not enough time with my kids. Yeah, Roger. I, yeah. Well, you know, at least you have a brother that, that came and got you. You know, your kids are only in age one one year than like my grandkids you know i spent christmas out here last winter and i missed out on their six-year-old christmas i can never get that back so i can't really give any good advice except for uh for being any younger i'll hang out with you more in town there try to be a good influence on you <laughs> Yeah, the only time we're a good influence on each other is when we're out here fishing. That's where we're supposed to be. We're just supposed to stay out here. <laughs> I think most people would probably think I'm crazy going to John Hillstrand as a therapist, but, you know, it might not actually be a bad idea. Yeah, I know. I was thinking, I'm not going to give anybody any advice. All right. OK, John. I'll talk to you soon. OK, buddy. I'll see you. 